Hey everyone, the Goods Tonight here, and today we are going to be reviewing Cry Precision Trousers. So these are the G3 Combat Pants, and they are the most comfortable pants in the world. The end. I, mean, I don't really know what more you want from me. So, I've got this holster and stuff on, which does get in the way. As you can see, there's a little belt right here. So I'm actually going to remove this, and I'm going to tell you guys a wonderful tale. What? Wonderful tale about pants. So, let's get committed to this. So, the G3 Combat Pants do several things that I like very much. Now, arguably, most importantly, let's actually move the camera here for better lighting. Alright, most importantly, you see these belt loops? This is how you do belt loops. The 511 figured it out. 511 does their belt loops with this nice, wide, comfortable fashion. And there's seven of them. Also important. Seven's a very important number. But with these belt loops, your pants are going to remain comfortable, steady, and it's going to sufficiently improve their durability. Although there's far more to pants than belt loops. So many pants, you such a... Why? Why? Qualms, qualms with other pants aside, comfy belt loops. Additionally, there's no buckle here. This is Velcro for the little tab here, and then it has a zipper, which is down. Awesome! Outstanding start to this video. So, zipper's now up, pants are comfy, your two pockets here dip straight downwards, and you can fit your hands in them. So, available for whatever you need there. Now, additionally, there's a side access pocket to each of your cargo pockets, assuming you needed to get something out from there, like, or store pens, or some form of shenanigans. Oh, there's my thumb. So, that aside, there is also this black elastic band. Now, what is this plastic ba is band large enough to do, you say? Well, were I to come over here uh, and grab a magazine, it just so happens that without the use of a plate carrier or a belt or anything crazy, I can fit a magazine in there. And it's going to fit relatively close to my leg. So if need be, without extra gear, I still have access to two mags, as there is one on each side. So, fantastic, velcro attached, large, wide, comfortable pockets. Now, as you may be wondering, what do these fancy little pockets do? These, if you open them up, have a drawstring inside. And that's just normal, everyday stuff from there. So what's this drawstring do? This drawstring, attached to this buckle, allows you to make the knee pads higher or shorter, higher or lower, not shorter, depending on your personal build. And myself, being under six feet tall, because my genes determine so, it's a, little bit, it's a little bit important that I have the knee pad a bit higher than others. Now, the knee pads themselves, sold separately, are placed through Velcro, and there's actually a little flap in here. So you got a double flap, a flap, two flaps and opening. So this flap opens up, and this is the back panel, and then this can actually stuff inside, and then you stuff the foam down here on the lower portion of the shin, and then the sides to protect the sides of the knee. Then there's even a Velcro duster on the back side here. And that's on each leg. So you get them perfectly set as high as, uh, as, high up as you want, then you adjust the Velcro on the back to keep them attached to your knee. So no matter where you go, you can take a knee, you can take a knee, you're comfortable, you bang your knee into something, oh guess what, you're safe. Which also means that these, being no, not the hardest because they're flexible, but having some extra weight to it means if you do go to knee someone, you're not using the upper part of your knee and you actually end up bumping them with a joint, your knees are still protected. Now finally, there are two pockets well, actually, not finally, but there are two pockets on your calves for whatever the hell you may determine is necessary to put on your calves. Then finally, the back pockets, zipper operated, in case you have a wallet and you're going to go spend a nice operator night on the town and you don't want your wallet to fall out. Or, I don't know, you like zippers. If you made everything zippers instead of Velcro, then you would have yourself a very up-armored pair of goth pants. 
and you're laughing because the price would probably be the same. Oh, these are not cheap trousers is basically what I'm getting at. There are plenty of knockoffs that attempt to copy and replicate, but they don't have the durability. Oh yes, these are fire resistant. Very important to note. You'd be surprised how many things explode or burst into flames or attempt to burn you to death. So, with these pants and the same shirt, which I don't have at the moment, if you were to wear both of them at the same time, and actually I think I have a liner up here, you had a frog face mask, you got your fireproof socks and undies on, your flame retarding gloves. If you wore all of that stuff, you could listen to my mixtape, because it's fire. So, bad joke aside, that I've been basically leading up to this entire video, these pants are the epitome of comfort, and although it's a little hot and humid, I am sweating a wee bit, however, these vents, built into the super fancy material, located all over the place, oh yeah, there's, check that out, there's some on the crotch too. It's basically letting heat disperse. It's wicking the heat and all the sweat and all the other unpleasantries, and I am still comfortable. You won't get that with generic ones. And I'm flame, resi re flame resistant from the waist down. So, that basically covers the majority of these pants. I mean, there's only so much more you could say about them. They're ultra comfy. Oh yeah, they say, cry precision on the pad on one of the panels and yeah greatest pair of pants I've ever owned and I don't know I could probably wear them on a motorcycle but if you walk down the street with these you might get some looks but other people will pro I, someone I don't know who but someone might appreciate the uh the style you've chosen to wear so ultra comfy pants for ultra comfy people doing ultra comfy things. If you're wondering about comfort, that's why I also got this on. This thing is amazing. But that's for another video. Actually, probably not. I don't think anyone wants to know more about Polar Tech, but the options are there. So, that being said, comfort pants are comfort. E, comfy, comfy, comfy's the word. Cheers.